in my monitors is sounding very hollow. Like, does that make sense to you? It's not warm in my monitor. It's just the microphone is. Yeah. Do you have a little bit of reverb, baby? Yep. Yeah. Okay. You see that? It's the setup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. How's your microphone? No. Sounds great. different is feeling better it's feeling, it's feeling a whole lot better is so. it possible to get a little bit of michael's vocal in my mind It's my fault. It's your fault. Um, I'm the oldest in my family. I'm the first grandchild. Um, and I've always taken on the blame. Mm -hmm. And then I joined the Army. And out of everyone who I served with uh, in my squad, I'm the only one still living. You know, and, and some of my battle buddies I served with, um, they had talents, they had dreams, they had goals and vision. And um, so why am I the one able to sing? And why am I the one here at Together Live to be able to sit with all these wonderful women up here? And why am I the one still able to hold my son? They're dead because of me. It's my fault. Somehow, some way, it's always my fault. And then you meet the love of your life. And you meet this supernatural woman who comes in and tells you, Michael, it's not your fault. And I'm still, you know, I am not a, I have not mastered that voice um, of me telling myself it is not my fault. But I am seeing that voice. You know, I'm seeing that I'm here because I have a purpose. I'm here to be the voice for those that are fallen. I'm here to tell not just my story, but the stories I've heard and to tell you that Specialist Perez who was killed, he had a dream and he could sing like Tony Bennett, mm. to tell you that I am not the only one. And, and no, it is not my fault, you know, but it is my honor. <laughs> 